Hi guys! Welcome to Serious English. My name is Antonia Romakor and today we're going to study the difference between make and do. This is, well, the eternal question of the English language. First of all, we'll talk about some general things, general ideas, which will help you later on to define which verb you are supposed to use, make or do. So let's get cracking. Make is used when you create something new. You make mistakes, you make cookies, you make a decision, you make bags or shoes, it's your little business. Anyway, you create something new. It didn't exist and voila, now it's here. Do is used when we imply general activities. Something general, not too specific. You can do your job, do a good job, do your homework, do your chores. M making cookies can be a part of your chores, but when you make cookies, you make something new, it is specific, it is a creating process, and chores is something general, so general activities. Now let's get into more details. Make is used when we talk about the origin of a product or we talk about the materials. Made of gold, made in China. Now almost everything in the world is made in China. Also, make is used when we talk about producing an action or reaction. It makes me cry. When I see somebody tearing up a book or using a pen while making notes in it, it makes me cry. I don't know why. Also, you can say it makes me happy. I love chocolate. It makes me happy. Or it makes me do crazy things. What makes me do crazy things? Alcohol? Nah. Love. Love makes me do crazy things. What about you? Two more categories. Make is used when we talk about food, drinks or meals. So you can make a cake, make a cup of tea, make dinner. Instead of cook, you can simply say make. You create something new. And make is used when we talk about speaking or sounds. Make a comment, make a noise, make a speech. And these are four basic categories I wanted to mention. Some teachers define more, but I think that these are the crucial ones. Now let's move on to do. Do do. As for do, there are just two categories I want to mention. The first one is do is used with something, nothing, anything and everything. Somebody's knocking on the door. I'm scared. Mola, do something. Anything. What? She's saying, what? Are you crazy? I love her. <laughs> She's my rock. Do is also used to replace a verb when the meaning is clear or obvious. Do one's hair brush your hair, do the dishes, wash the dishes, do the kitchen, clean the kitchen, do the lawns, mow the lawns. So the verb is clear, the meaning is clear, you just replace the verb because you are casual, you are too tired to remember the verb. It's a joke of course. Anyway, do is used like this. 
Moreover, we should remember that do is used as an auxiliary verb in different tenses, present simple, mostly. Do you have a cat? Do you have a car? I don't have a dog. I don't have a weasel. But I want to. <laughs> Joking. So, do can be used as an auxiliary verb to intensify the meaning of the full verb like I do want to meet you. Really. I do want to meet you. Instead of saying I want, you say I do want. Okay, so that's basically it. At the end of this class I will show you a table where more categories are shown, more examples are given. So some expressions are not that logical and you need just to memorize them. But remember the general logic and it will save you the trouble of well, remembering each and every phrase. Once again, make, creating, building, constructing new things and do general activities. And that's it for today. I hope that you found my class useful and you liked it. If you did, please press the button, like it and share it. I will really appreciate it. So I hope to see you soon. Happy English and Russian practice. Bye bye. I've created a second channel where I explain English in Russian. So it's a channel for Russians who study English. Check it out! Now let's move on. Move on. It's hot in here, isn't it? <laughs>